You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV iPad app reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, if you're like me, you love keeping track of all of the information about your websites using Google Analytics. The problem with that is if you've ever tried to use analytics on your iPad, well, it doesn't work because analytics use Flash. Well, there's a solution for that that's called Analytics Pro. It's an awesome iPad application. So let's take a look at Analytics Pro. Analytics Pro is an awesome application that lets you work in sync with your Google Analytics account to look at all the different information that you have for your websites. So if I push my accounts button here, the first thing that we'll have to do is set up your uh, Google account. I've set mine up and when I select that, all of the different profiles in that Google Analytics account will show up. So we're going to look at one specifically and it's our matchstickworkshops.com website that we just launched. So there's not a lot of uh, information there or visits and we'll look at it to see what we need to do to get more people to the site. So the first thing that you'll notice here is there's this little icon over here that looks like a settings icon and that's exactly what that is. So when I push that, you can change the profile settings for that. You can change the thumbnail. You can make sure that the URL points to the right place. Um, and then render display shows you how often it needs to update. And then there's more information that you can go in here and look exactly uh, all the different things that have to do with this profile. So I'm gonna save that because it looks pretty good um, and make sure it's all good and that's gonna update the, uh, the thumbnail right there. Now what I can do is once I have that selected, I have all of these different reports over here on the left hand side. And this works both vertically and horizontally. And so you'll be familiar with these reports if you're a Google Analytics user. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to look at a summary for the last seven days. And this will go in, it'll pull data, and it'll show things like how many absolute unique visitors versus visits, average time on the site, bounce rates, new visits, where traffic is coming from, uh, referring sites, how much direct traffic we're getting, how many search engines are looking, where the sources are coming from, all the different summaries that you're used to in your Google Analytics account. Now, if you want to drill into these individually, over here on the left-hand side, we have different reports, and they're broken up by visitors. They're uh, different, uh, you know, what those visitors are using, their network domain, connection speeds, our traffic sources, and then content where people are looking. And then if you have goals uh, set up, you can look at those. And if you have e-commerce on your site, you can even track your e-commerce by products and SKU and categories. And that works really, really well. So we're going to look up here uh, first at our countries, just so you can see this. So we can go into countries. Again, it's going to pull that data. And you can see it looks just like our normal uh, Google Analytics account where you can look at different countries. You can zoom in. You can zip around. You can see how am I doing in Europe, the United States, etc. And let's say, well, we want to look at the United Kingdom. I can push that. And it's going to go in here and it's going to break down uh, all of our different interests, pages, time, bounce rates, etc., just for the UK. And I can do that for all different um, regions as well. So anybody that's visiting, we can see who, they're, who they are, where they've come from, how long they're staying. Uh, so it looks like we've got a lot of different visits from a bunch of different countries, which is encouraging. We can also drill in specifically to the US states. And so we can look and see where people are coming from uh, specific to the United States. And it's going to go in here and yank the information and show us graphically on this map what that looks like. So here's our map and it shows you uh, exactly where people are visiting. So it looks like we have Arizona and New York are the places that are visiting uh, matchstick workshops most often. And also California is in there. So we can look and see exactly how we're doing. So we'll go in here to Arizona and look again. Here's all of our stats. So we have all of our visitors. There's unique visits by people that are coming back and looking at things the second time or staying around. We can look and see by location how they're visiting. So we have we can slice and dice data in a bunch of different ways. We can see which uh, languages uh, we're looking at and maybe what things that we need to support. So English looks like it's overwhelmingly popular. We can look and see how our visitors, um, how loyal they are. So it looks like they're coming and we need more content to bring people back because it looks like they're coming and looking at one thing and then leaving. So not a lot of people are sticking around for more than uh, one visit. We can look and see what browsers we need to support. So Safari and Firefox are overwhelmingly popular. Internet Explorer, surprisingly, is in the minority. So um, one of the things I thought was interesting is if we look at operating system, 
Mac is overwhelmingly the most popular operating system. So it looks like we're connecting with a lot of Mac users out there and not a lot of Windows user, which could explain why Internet Explorer is not so popular on the site. So we need to figure out why that is and if it's significant. So um, we can also go and look and see what kind of colors and resolution these guys have. So we can see that, yeah, um, everybody's pretty much in the modern world. We can see domains. We can see if they have Java support, if they have Flash support, all that this different kind of stuff that we need to look at to make sure that we're developing according to what our visitors want to see. We can also see where our traffic is coming from. And so we can see where our referring sites are. Um, so Facebook and Twitter and friend feed and all kinds of places are sending us um, some nice uh, people. And so we can look and see which pages they're looking at. Um, all kinds of information there. It's really cool. We can look and see which content is drawing people in. So it looks like uh, Mickey Johnson's article is, is the winner there because she's such a great writer. So a lot of people are looking at that. Um, we can see where people are leaving. We can see what people are looking at to find our site. So it's all of the information you would normally get in analytics, and it's in a really nice package. Now, we haven't set up goals yet, but you can use your goals to track how you're doing uh, on your website. That's something you would actually set up in analytics, and then the reporting is done here uh, in Analytics Pro. And then e-commerce, also, we, haven't, we don't do any e-commerce on this site, but if we did, we could pull it in and look at how much revenue we've had, how much tax we've uh, collected and need to pay, how much we've spent on shipping, all of this stuff that you need to know. Um, we would be able to look at and see um, which products are selling, which SKUs, which categories, all of those things. Now, we're not getting anything here because we haven't set that up uh, on Matchstick Workshops because we're not really selling anything. But if we were, we could look and see all that. So um, Analytics Pro is an application that looks just like your Google Analytics unless you really do everything that you need to do right on your iPad. Well, there you have it, Analytics Pro. It's a really powerful application that helps you really delve into all kinds of uh, statistics on your website. I highly recommend it. We've been using it for a while, and I just love it. Well, remember, if you have an app you'd like to see us review here at Adorama TV, please send me your suggestions at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.